What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today we're going to go over RKT. This thing's going insane. Check it out. All right, guys, so let's jump into this video here. Now, RKT, Rocket Mortgage, that thing <laughs> that thing was a rocket of its own today. Absolutely insane move on RKT today. That thing went from, what was it? The open was at $27.34, and the high of day was 43 bucks. What a move. Like, all morning long, it traded a little bit sideways, didn't do a whole lot, and then out of nowhere, during lunch, pff, that thing just went insane right around 12 45 p.m right in the middle of lunchtime it just rocketed and uh, it's funny because well you know it's rocket mortgage so it did rocket no pun intended that's just what it did and then in after hours it's held up fairly well which is pretty surprising um how well it's been holding up thus far it is 6 40 p.m and it's at 40 dollars and 60 cents right now we're going to jump into the charts here in a second but before we do do me a quick favor smash the like button for me subscribe to the channel if you haven't and uh, make sure to comment in the comment section below let me know what you think price target is going to be for rocket tomorrow now let's go ahead and jump into this video here uh, before we do i'm going to tell you a little bit about rocket mortgage uh, this one seems to be one of those that is catching the attention of the meme stock groups all right it's really what's going on here it seems like it a lot the float on rocket mortgage is 108 million but 39.73% of the flow is actually short, all right? And that's as the latest that I have here on the you know latest update that I have access to. I think, I think Yahoo Finance is showing about 37%, but on my trade idea scanners, I have a 39.73% of the short uh, flow on this thing. Now, trade ideas, link in the description section below. You can, you can download the trade ideas. You'll also have 15% off coupon code there as well, okay? I'll leave in the comment section as well. Now, let's go ahead and dive into the chart here and take a look at what RKT did today, what I think potentially it could do tomorrow. All right, guys, so let's jump right on into the charts here. And here you have Rocket this morning. You can see how, look, I want you to, let's, let's scroll back some. I want you to see the action in the morning, all right? Look at the action in the morning right there. Leading up into lunchtime. Watch, we're gonna just take it through, right through lunch. Kevin traded it in chat, the daytraderchatroom.com. We traded it uh, this morning here. Kevin, I think, caught this pullback and bounced up here to new highs and uh, did fairly well. He pulled out some good profit on that one, so congrats to him on it. If you don't know about the daytraderchatroom.com, that's our uh, chat room. You got courses resources galore like there's a ton of resources on the website there's a bunch of different courses as well okay you can come join us for five days for just five bucks a little trial or if you're looking for maybe like a free course to kind of get your feet wet and understand the market a little bit more i'm going to leave you both links down there in the description and the comment section okay so uh right as this was happening earlier i told the guys in chat be careful with this because it's creeping up higher and the volume just isn't there and i think it might roll over and sure enough it rolled a little bit all the way back down here to 28 bucks all right but then what i want you to notice is that it never gave up it never broke 28 dollars again never look at this it went sideways the whole time throughout lunch and in the late morning session it just would not give up at all okay it wouldn't give up and I wasn't around, unfortunately. It was lunchtime, so I was out. And unfortunately, I wasn't around because the next thing that happened, <laughs> well, you know, the rest is history on that sucker. Look at this. At 12.45, right there, boom. Right through the high of the day, huge, huge increase in volume. And then look at the amount of volume that just kept coming in as it squeezed up higher. Isn't that crazy? Absolutely insane. It's such a strong move, it's crazy. And you would think, well, maybe that'll be it, right? 40 bucks, kind of like a high a day number. Nope. Look at this. It just kept going. It just kept going and going and going and going. I came back like around 1, 1.30, 1 something. I came back from lunch and I was watching it. Okay, here, you see how we set this $35 
high here and then we tore right through it on more increasing in volume, like just monstrous increase in volume. Right here, as we started to pull back in, okay, you see that as we started to pull back in there, I was looking and I told guys in chat that I was gonna look to see if I could get long on a pullback there to 35 bucks. We had the 9 AMA, we had this previous high and look here on the daily. We had this little pivot area right here at $34 and change. And I said to myself, you know what? That looks like a good, good level to potentially get long there with a very nice defined stop loss. So I waited and waited. I was trying to see if I can catch a bid down there, but nope, no dice. This thing just pulled back right in here into like 36 bucks. And right there, it took right on off again. Look at that. It was so hard, so I was so mad to see that happen there, like, ugh. But it just kept on going. Look at the volume that kept on pouring into that thing. It was just insane. It really was. It was crazy. It was really crazy. And then it got halted to the downside. Just complete madness. So volatile. It was insane. And then it just started trading sideways here. And I thought, you know, maybe if we kept down here to VWAP, we could get a bounce. But no, look where it held. 35 bucks. That level for, I was talking about here, it held it here. And I didn't think it would. I honestly thought at this point, with the halt down and all that, it might lose some steam and we can get down here to VWAP. Nope, this thing was not about to lose steam. Look at this. So then what I did was, you see right here, this previous halt price at 39 bucks, I got long in here and uh, I put out the alerts there at the daytradechatroom.com and we, we, got, we got the push right through here. We got that push right through there and through 41 and I got flat. Um, but then that thing just went crazy a little while later. Look at this. It double topped, got halted, came down on a gap down, pushed right back up, got halted again. Just crazy movements. And then you want to look at the after hours. Look how well it's holding up in after hours. Whoops. Look how well. Look how well this thing is holding up in after hours so far. That's impressive. That's impressive. The fact that it's not down at 36 bucks right now is very, very impressive. Uh, and RKT has to be kept on watch tomorrow. Now, what can happen tomorrow? Obviously, it's a number of things, right? We got a number of different scenarios that can happen here. And uh, depending on what side of the trade on, you can make some money. Uh, it might not be the easiest thing to do, but you can still make some money. Now, if you wanna make some really, really easy money, all you gotta do is download the Webull app, link in the description and comment section, you deposit 100 bucks in your account, all right, you download the app, open an account, deposit 100 bucks, you're gonna get two free stocks, that's free money, and free money is definitely easy. So you gotta take advantage of that, make sure you check it out right down there. Now. Uh, these scanners that you see here are my trade idea scanners link in the description and comment section You can see those there with a 15% off coupon code. All right, so make sure you take advantage of those now on rocket tomorrow if we get a gap up what I would prefer to see personally would be Kind of like let's see here. Let's go into Today's pre-market action. So let's scroll back over here Let's get rid of the after hours and I want you to see this. So if we gap up tomorrow in pre-market and uh, you know we can consolidate throughout pre-market, this thing might go crazy right off the bell and then I'll be looking to get long on pullbacks. Okay, that would be, that would be what I would like to see. Now, the other potential scenario that we could see happen would be you'd get the gap up, you'd get the gap up, but instead of consolidating, it just squeezes you know, a good chunk, maybe it gets up to, I don't know, 47 bucks, something like that. And uh, then the bell rings and you see a quick push, maybe like a push to 48, 49 bucks, and then it drops and it drops a little bit hard. Maybe it gets back down to today's high, which is $43 and it tests that $43 area. And if it does that, we might be able to see ourselves do like a nice red to green move and that would be really nice. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me bring up a red to green move that I can show you and that way you can see kind of like what I would be looking for to potentially happen or what I would really like to see happen because I like those red to green moves. They typically tend to trade a lot cleaner. Okay, so here you have exactly what I'm talking about. You see how we gap up here? There's a little push, right? 
there's a, there's a little push in here, just tiny, very tiny. Usually they'll see a bigger push depending on the volume. All right, and then you'll see the drop. And you see how we drop, kind of find some support at the 9 AMA, find VWAP resistance, you see resistance there, here, and all throughout here. And then we finally get a breakthrough VWAP with a pullback. That's what I would love to see out of RKT tomorrow. I would love to see that. Maybe take a starter here, add to full size, boom, right? And maybe get that push up to 50 bucks. That would be more along the lines what I would like to see tomorrow on RKT for a red to green move. Because maybe we get a big gap up, you know, some profit take is going to take place more than likely from swing traders and such. You'll see profit taking take place. And then out of nowhere, um, you'll see like it finds some support and i would think maybe support around today's high 43 bucks today's high is 43 dollars exactly you see it right up here okay so maybe we see some some 43 dollars support kick in and that's very nice to find area to get long and boom you know we can get that red to green move and maybe maybe see something like this out of it right let's zoom in a little bit here boom Maybe we can see something like that out of it and that would be pretty awesome, okay? That would be my favorite like setup on, on RKT. Maybe we get it, maybe we don't, you know? But that's, that's what I would be looking for on RKT tomorrow. Watching the price action here, it's still trying to hold $40, which is, you know, still very nice to see it hold 40. We'll see if it can continue holding that. I'd like to know what your thoughts are. Let me know in the comment section below what you think RKT might do overnight in the pre-market and in tomorrow after the bell rings. I think, you know, I gave you two scenarios there that are both bullish scenarios that are very possible if there's still a lot of hype behind this name coming from a lot of social media stuff and this giant, you know, short position that's in here that right now that short position is stuck and super nervous. So smash the like button for me, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, drop your comments in the comment section below so I can know what your thoughts are, and I hope to catch you on the next one.